Eric Hammond here with the Joy of Homesteading. It is time to pick habaneros. So I've got three plants here and I did a little experiment. You can't really see there's three plants, can you? So there's one and in there, there's a second one here and then there's a third one that's tiny and being crushed by the competition. I planted four pepper plants here. One died. These two I fertilized with coffee grounds and worm juice, like worm casting juice. And then the third one over there, I used just a uh, synthetic fertilizer you can buy from, I think it was Osmocote from Lowe's. So the ones that I used these worm castings on, these pepper plants got so big, they just fell out of the ground. There's so many peppers on these things. Isn't that ridiculous? The, uh, see, there's the separation there. There's this one, and then here's one that this was just the synthetic fertilizer. It didn't do as good as the worm castings did, but you know, this one got so big, it fell over on top of it and it blocked out a lot of light. So, you know, that's gonna affect how much it grows as well, but it just does stand to reason that, uh, man, if you can feed the soil life instead of feeding the plant, that you really can start to make a difference. And these things will take time you're not going to just start feeding the soil life and see immediate results, although you can. But over time, as you focus on soil fertility, as you focus on results to improve the microorganisms that live in the soil, you're going to start seeing better and better results, healthier plants, and uh, just abundance. I hope you like this kind of thing. If you uh, want to check out my channel, some other videos I got, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you later.